Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to call me the Dream Believer Kistetsu here, and welcome back to another episode of Clockwork Leyland. Yeah, well, Tsubaki is visiting us. One thing I want to mention before we start as the guide says, as the guide goes through, uh, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, the guide, the guide about the Clockwork Leyland. What, which right answers to pick to go for the Tsubaki route and for the Ushio route. The thing is, I'm not really sure if we pick the right answers for um, Furoya Machisa. I guess it was her name. Wait, how? What is her name? Um, Neko. Neko? Yeah, Neko. Now we want the Tsubaki and the, the Ushio route, of course. The thing is, I'm not sure if we pick the right answers for the Neko as well if we go again the route. I don't think so. I'm not sure if it if it will be that case. I'm gonna skip it for you. It's it's uh, you you don't we don't have to see it twice. Um, let me say it that. Let me say it like that. Well, yeah. And let's just continue. Hey, sorry for intruding. Hello, did something happen regarding that ghost? No, I, after making my report, we searched the school again, but couldn't find anything. It appears to be quiet for the fast ghost. Oh, I'm... Hold on. Uh, oh there, um, it appears to be quite a fast go, so would you like to submit a request for us to investigate it? Not yet, principal's orders and the disciplinary committee wants to look into it a bit more. Um, so did something, so did something else? Yeah. Oh, there was just a bit on my mind. For some reason she forced a smile after saying that. She heard that the two of you had not yet arrived here and got word. Hmm? Yeah, considering the map you got. Uh, they thought that we might have been still lost. Still be lost. It was a what if situation. Turns out that I was overthinking it. So feminine. The principal is a real piece of work. Oko heaves a deep sigh. You abandoned us yesterday too, Moku. I had to do quickly deal with the sealed mist. So he calls you Moku, huh? She says that while suppressing her laughter. I see her smiling while looking towards her. Much to my displeasure. And the other thing about Neko is, I don't know. It may, um, so if we pick as well again the answers for Neko, and we will again get the root for Neko, next time I won't pick the right answers for Neko. Mm. But if we get all three routes and one playthrough, that will be that will be acceptable. As she usual, her expression doesn't waver, but having found herself in an awkward position, her tone of voice is flat. She said that she didn't like being addressed with charm. I don't like being treated like a child. People sound direct her gaze towards Muku's straight face. I feel like there's something she wants to ask. Is something the matter? I was just thinking that you... That even you have his secrets. Did it seem like I was hiding something? Muko answers with a question of her own, looking oddly startled. Muko sounds smiles bitterly and apologizes. No, my apologies. I have a habit of not thinking before I speak. Muko, where you were lying about something? It's it's true that I'm not fond of being treated like a child. Yeah, sorry for calling you out on that. It's 
no big deal. So basically there's probably another reason behind her not liking that name. Kyuta, hmm? Ushi. Chan, Ushi. That's Japanese for cow. How about Mu-chan? It was definitely an unusual reaction from someone like her. If she is lying to us, then that means she has no intention of telling us. Why did you think that I was deceiving you? Okay. Can you can explain it very well. Something just struck me as being off. So a sixth sense of source. You might possess the ability to, to, to discern minor variations in someone's speech and behavior. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know if it's something that cool. Embarrassed, she waves her hands in front of her face and is about to say something when... Oh, cool if they would uh, show that acting of her. What was that? Sounds like someone's at the door. Coming in. The door slams open and I hear a booming voice. Ibu sounds like this is where you are. Ah, Murakumo did something happen. I could tell you the same thing. Why are you out here in the sticks? We're in the sticks now. Shut up. Don't interrupt me. If you don't like this place being called the sticks, then how about the bonies? Hey, Murakumu. Sorry, he has a full mouth. I'm well aware of that. You all want to talk, eh? Stop fighting someone else's office. We're going back to the disciplinary committee, so if you'll please excuse us. Good. I'm missing you here, and Amibu-san, wait up. Oh man. What a noisy person he is. Wait, you heard that sound? I guess it were the handcuffs. I guess it were the handcuffs. No thanks to no thanks to a certain someone. He said it, ah, uh, he left the door wide open. Omar goes to close the door, which Morakomo didn't shut when he heard it left. That's, that's weird. I don't know what's wrong. There's something on the floor. What are those handcuffs? They are property of the disciplinary committee. Why are they carrying handcuffs around? Doesn't, it doesn't occur often, but there have been cases where students have gone out of control due to a mist and have had to be restrained with them. Huh? I see. Oh, here's the key for them too. Could I take a look at them? Sure. Wait, why are you putting them on me? Oh, I feel like I'm in a crime What? Whoa, what are we going to do if I can't take them off? We have the key, don't we? See, they came off really easily. Ah, you're right, it's my turn now, huh? You suck at this, Omar. You have to put the wrist right at the bottom of the cuff. Like this. Oh, I got it. It feels good when it clicks together like that, don't you think? Yeah, Muku, you want to give it a... At some point, while we are fooling around, Muka had returned to reading a book and was completely ignoring us. You are wide open. Huh. And the head, and the head, and the heat of the moment I handcuff her right hand. We didn't even... Oh, okay. <laughs> You're under arrest. 
She takes one look at her handcuff, uh, handcuffed right hand and... Gives me a glare as cold as absolute zero. Omaro, pass me the key, would you? Mm. Yeah. Unable to bear the terrifying silence, I t timidly proffer him my free right hand. Isn't the key is... Um, uh, it's on the top of the desk. It's on the top of the desk? Yeah, that's... I found it, I found the key. What? <laughs> the fairy. A small creature resembling a girl with wings on her back. Feel flutters over the desk and picks up the key. Fairy? <laughs> <laughs> fairy. I found the key, thanks. Hey, <laughs> stop. Carrying the key to the handcuffs in its arms, it flies through the door and out of the room. What just uh, happened? Uh, uh, the, the key. Uh. Still stunned from what I just witnessed, I quickly tried to chase after the fairy bird. Don't pull on it so suddenly like that. My bad, uh, but we have to hurry. Don't st stop right in front of the door, it's getting away. Damn, where did it go? That way doesn't lead us to the exit. Was it this way? That way is, like I said. Just stop dragging me. Ah, oh, sorry. Can find it anywhere. After leaving to check the entrance of the library, he comes back with a look of despair. He got away. <laughs> what we are going to do? With a stare icer than her previous one, she possessed the question and raised her hand that's trapped in the metal ring. For good measure, I try pulling apart the loop. It doesn't budge. What should we do? That's what I asked you. It's completely my fault. I'm the one who put the handcuffs on. Even though I told you to refrain from causing trouble. I know. I'm sorry, okay? Still, what was the, with that fairy? You wouldn't normally expect something like that to happen. Don't try to change the topic. What do you plan on doing about the situation? That's a hard question to answer. Well, uh, mm. will the disciplinary committee have a spare key? Unfortunately, this pair of handcuffs belongs to one member, so there is only one key to them. Shall we just try to find that fairy? For now, I guess so. Uh, I'll jump straight to the conclusion. We couldn't find it. <laughs> so? Um, come in. Thanks. Not like there's any need for her to thank me with the handcuffs linking our wrists. She has no choice but to come in anyway. Fun trading. <laughs> Mars' voice was cheerful, as if it to brighten up the mood, but Muku remains as, as displeases, displeased as ever. I can definitely see why, though. What a pickle I've gotten us into. But they got, they have a pretty good room, I would say, don't they? What you think about their room? What do you think about their room? <laughs> Looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty, let me say, wealthy. Yeah. Students at the school are split between the east and the west dorms. We are prohibited from entering and leaving after classes, probably because of the realm of night. Fortunately, all three of us are in the east dorm. After coming back, we discussed what we should do. 
and decided that having her stay over in my room would be better than having a guy stay over in a girl's room. Wanting to avoid all the people we order takeout for dinner. We will get enough of that during class anyway. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. That should be all of it. There seems to be a lot though. So, hmm. Tomorrow is left speechless after putting all of the food onto the table. <laughs> Who ordered this much food? Me? You can eat all of this, Michi? This amount is normal for me, I'm used to it. I didn't know that you enjoyed eating so much. Not really, well, not like I hate it either. Well, I'll be going back to my room now. <laughs> What's there? You spend some quality time with us. I catch tomorrow by the color uh, as he was about to quickly make off. Eat here, you're eating with us, you're my friend. So I'm sure you understand what I'm getting at, right? Uh, okay, okay, let go, I can breathe. Alright, uh, feel free to sit down, Moku. My arm will be left dangling if you don't sit down. Alright. Also, your friend seems to be suffocating. Oh. Are you sure you think of me as your friend? I do, I do. What a great guy you are, Omaha. I agree. Oh. Her stiff expression loosens up a bit. <sighs> <laughs> uh, geez, let's start eating already. I'm starved. <laughs> Me too. The three of us sit around the table on the floor. Since the handcuffs are in our way, Omaru lays the table and opens the lids for us. Omaru, could you open the bottle of sauce? <laughs> sure, pass it here. Also, grab the spices over there, won't you? <laughs> Got it. Could you move your left hand over this way a bit more? Ah, sorry. With her dominant hand and her car handcuffs, her movements are extremely limited, making it difficult for her to eat. Nushio-san, can you read this cell? I can, if Kogakun cooperates. Give me a second to finish putting this on. What a pain. <laughs> this is much worse than I had anticipated. Are you putting a bit too much? Oh, am I? The food's turning red. Because it's chili pepper. I don't want to believe it. Oh, I <laughs> sorry. I don't want to believe it. But are you saying that the amount is to your taste? Yeah, I love spicy stuff. <laughs> Still, that seems bad for your health. It's fine. As if she's looking at something completely bluffing. And foreign to her Moku tense up. Oh yeah, you said that you didn't like spicy things, right? She nods and diverts her gaze. I can tell that she doesn't even want to imagine what it's going to taste like. Well, whatever, let's dig in. Michi, if you don't lift your arm up high, the chain's going to get in the food. Ah, Moku, wait. I am waiting, so put down that bowl of miso soup and in your left hand first. Jeez, ah, here, Moko, open wide. Excuse me, Karasama kun, could you move the cell closer to me, please? Yeah. You're not going to open that. Where's the dressing? There's some more green pearl. Green pearl, please. Hey, you guys, don't just ignore me. Feeling depressed that they are treating me like I'm invisible, I mechanically chew the rest of my meal. <sighs> Thanks for the meal. At least we managed to finish eating without spilling anything. That being said, I would not want to keep living like this. Of course. 
本当に用意された分全部食べちゃったね。摂取カロリーはきちんと計算した方がいいと思いますが。Probably want to keep track of calorie intake. It's fine. I always burn them all off anyway. あ、お茶もらってこようか。Oh, should I go make some tea? There is some in the fridge already, so there's no need to. はい。I'll go get it then. Wait a minute. What? That bubble was so late. Hey, Michi. But what is it? This isn't tea, right? Standing in front of the refrigerator, Omar takes out a silver can and shows it to me. It's not, it should be a, in a plastic bottle. Kogaku. Kogaku. Put that bag where you found it and hurry up and bring the tea here. That's clearly beer. Are you by any chance drinking? <laughs> Why was that monotone? Just kidding, I'm not the kind of person who would break the law so openly. Oh, really now? Trust me, will you? Okay, even if you don't believe me, it's the truth, I swear. I won't let you get away with that if you are lying. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, it's one of those carbonated drinks meant for adults? Uh, adults? Adults, adults. You sure like some weird things. They go well with spicy food. <laughs> After staring at the can intently, Omar puts it back in the fridge and returns with the tea. <laughs> that hits the spot. You're starting to sound like a Jesus. Leave me alone, let me kick back and relax for a bit. You must have nerves of steel to be able to relax in this situation. The peaceful atmosphere just got a bit chillier. Well, it's true that it's my fault that things are the way they are right now. Not like worrying is going to do us any good at this point. So, I see. So, you're, so you're not reflecting on your reactions? No, I am. And I seriously regret what I did. What now? No. If you have something you want to say, then spit it out. I told you that it's nothing. Omar is seeing things take a turn for the worse. Hastily tries to slip into the conversation. I wonder where that fairy came from and where it went. We're going to look for it tomorrow, right? Naturally, we have to find it tomorrow, no matter what. Omar is right. Fighting with Mugu here is useless. A thoughtless prank is without doubt at fault here. I'm acting so immature. Was that the work of another miss? I can think of any other possible explanation, but what kind of miss will it take the key of a pair of handcuffs? Oku suddenly furrows her bro and Morris to herself. Was it really after the key to the hand? We will answer the questions in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, or do you have more, like it, share, subscribe, and don't do anything else, and don't do anything else. And as always, remember, dreams can true, so what you to do? Just believe in you. And ladies and gentlemen, you should watch some anime from me, and especially for you. You should watch Darling and Franks for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, or if you want me to recommend to something, it would be a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy watching.